smile here we live love eat and smile so today we are going to be making a meal um this is a very much requested recipe and um we're going to do that together with um a few ketchups here and there um some of you asked me to do another get to know me i will it's not that i i ignored i will i'll make sure i do one so for today we are going to make a meal and i am so happy i am so excited because i have visitors today it is major i don't get visitors so <laughs> So today we are going to prepare a meal um, for our visitors. Um, yes, so I'm going to show you what I'm making, and then um, we will cook together as we catch. Um, I have lightly boiled it, so it is our first ingredient. Can you see it? Yeah, I have lightly boiled it, and then I just drained the water. That's why it's still in a drainer. And then <laughs> lots and lots of onions. And then we have um, dania, which we will put musho, and then um, onion, <laughs> tomatoes. Sorry tomatoes tomatoes whichever it is yes that one and then uh, although you can't see it i'll soon bring you guys with me there's a pan with um oil and then there's a sulfuria so the pan with oil is going to um dry the chicken okay it's not roasting and it's not frying it's just um Let's just call it frying the chicken. So we will pan fry the chicken first, and then we we make it uh, into a stew. Also, with me is um, boiled uh, the the soup that I got the not soup stock that I got from um, boiling my chicken. So this is going to be made to. Um, stew so uh, one thing i will give you a kitchen hack never ever 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 add water um like you know when you put vitungu and then you put the meat you're cooking or whichever thing you're making and then you put nyanya and then you add water to make soup it doesn't taste well so always have stock um in your fridge um yes so let's get right into making the food my hands are clean you guys don't come at me for me for for comment section at me i'm doing something wrong no i'm not my hands are very very clean Once again, I am not frying, I am just making sure that the chicken is 
right yes so i don't know if you guys can see um that's my chicken it's in oil um yes so we put the chicken in the oil um forgive my <laughs> my bed because i have to bend so i can do you guys literally um but let me adjust my tripod and then um i come back so we are back my chicken is fried as you can see so in uh forgive my working space is really small and my kitchen is really small so um we're back so in a sofuria now we have changed it is a sofuria we'll put some oil the oil we were using that is to make the, the what now the to fry the chicken yeah and i put kitchen towels of for the chicken so that um it can you know uh sip in the extra oil yeah so we are going to cook our onions in oil i've already put in the onion let me guys let me bring you guys closer I don't know how close you need to be. Yeah, so. so we're going to make our onions um super duper brown. That is golden brown. in the onion, I like to add um, my spices uh, as I cook so but I won't add them currently because onions are still not brown we are going to wait for the onion to brown. Tidy your spaces, you guys. If there is a spill, if there is anything, you know you don't want to come back to clean up after you're cooking and you're hungry and you're salivating. So tidy up your spaces. Um, um, as you cook, it's easier to... Um, make your kitchen neat and clean what if you tidy up as you so my onions are starting to brown and that's my cue for adding spices so we'll start with salt this is just regular salt i'm usually not a fan of putting too much salt because this is chicken masala i'm working to buy some um, some kitchen equipment like uh, the storage dishes this is cayenne pepper cayenne can you see that yeah, cayenne pepper you know, i don't put a lot because if you put a lot no one will eat the food rather it's um a ready to eat spice so you can always add if there is need and then my love that is ginger i really really love ginger ginger makes the food just different yeah don't don't worry if your pot browns just make sure your uh, your onions are brown enough don't worry about the pot you can correct um the situation by adding the soup it always cleans out your pots now you're going to add the i used one large tomato so 
that's what we're going to add in there. I know it's different from how so many people cook. People are first add the meat, but um, you usually add the meat for the purpose of uh, so that the meat can be fried. And we have already fried ours, so we're going to skip that one two. When you add the uh, tomatoes and then you add the stock, it becomes a thick stewer and it really looks nice. So, add the soup. And um, increase the heat. Um, when the stew boils, you'll add back your chicken. Sure that serviette doesn't go in there or else people will eat serviette. Um and reduce your heat. Then you just um mix the onions, the, the tomatoes and your and your meat together. It should look like that. Um, and then the remaining uh, stock you had, you're just going to add it in. Eh? It's thick. See, looks like porridge. Yeah, it's really, really, really thick. So you're just going to add it back and mix that into and then you add your heat. So I hope you remember all the steps. You add the heat. You add the heat when you you add you just added the stock to the nyanya and bitungu, and then you reduce when you add the chicken, and then you add again the heat when you add the rest of the soup. It's as easy as that, and then you just let it boil. Um, don't boil it too much though. Because you need that soup. I won't be making uh, any vegetable. Instead, I'll serve my food with um, oranges. So that's where the vitamins will come from. So I'm not making any 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 vegetables. Yeah. So we're going to let it boil for like four or five minutes, and then we will come back and remove it from the heat. So, um, your chicken should look like this. And then now, this is the time now we add the dania. Just sprinkle it on top. Immediately you switch off your the heat and then you just cover it up. So that the Dania's uh, flavor can diffuse. So now we're going to make rice. Sorry about that. I received a call. So I was saying you add your oil um, to the sulfuria. 
I'm hoping you can see because you know so then though I I saved uh, some onions so you just going to add the onions into the hot oil and then you will cook the onions just to go, go. for the rice you want to wait uh, to for the onions to be brown you I don't even know the name of the people you whatever them onions you'll add your carrots the carrots are finely chopped um it's one and a half uh of a carrot um so i think one and another half we are making carrot rice i repeat we are making carrot rice the reason why i won't refer this to vegetable rice is because i haven't added um, green peas and i don't like them so and i have one rule in life i don't cook anything that i don't like that's the reason why as old as i am i don't know how to make ugali because i don't like ugali and then our washed rice yes we won't add water first we will add the rice so we're going to wait for the carrots and the onions to um, get ready just for a few minutes and then now we're going to add the rice and then later we will add the water add in the rice and um, cook it in oh. we are frying the rice remember I'm hoping you guys can see what I am doing. Oh, my hand has been blocking you guys. And I have a big hand. I'm so sorry. So. Then when I have moved you people because I've realized my hand has been doing you guys injustice. So after um the rice starts to um stick to the bottom of the pan, we are going to add in pre-measured water he see the full i have measured so i made um two cups of rice that means four cups of water but for me i don't put four cups especially if i am frying the rice i'll put three and a half um it always gives you the best um rice like you do it by half so we are going to add the pre-measured uh, water right into the mixture I know you're wondering why I haven't added salt I'll add salt right about now into the water so it can diffuse well because if you add it before some parts of your rice will have and some other parts will not have i am using a salt shaker i know um don't come at me um i'll buy 
um, something to store my spices once again. So by the time we're doing a house tour, I'll be having them. So mix in your salt. Again, I said you add salt after you add the water. And then um, we will reduce the heat totally. Yes. Um, yeah, so we are going to give the food some time to cook. So after that, we can catch up. So, um, not after that, sorry, guy, kizungu inapotea. So, not after that, um, let the food cook as we catch 